All right, Algebra 1, this is your day 14 AMI. Um, I've had a note on my whiteboard to don't forget to give Katie a shout out. Now y'all, I'm old and I didn't know shout outs were a thing on YouTube videos. So my daughter informed me that they are in fact a, a thing. So Katie, I miss you ma'am, I miss you all. Um, here is your shout out. Um, Rest assured that Trinity's giving me a hard time every day in your stead. All right. So today's AMI for day 14 is all about factoring trinomials. Oh, super exciting stuff. Um, I'm going to write a trinomial up here. Oh, by the way, yes, I do have glasses. These are handy to distract you from the dark circles under my eyes but also lets me read what I have written down on my paper down here a little easier. Um, B squared plus 8B plus 7. Okay, so whenever we're factoring trinomials, um, we are going to factor these into two sets of parentheses, just like this. Um, we're going to look at parts of this. Um, there's a one right here. We all know there's a one there. It's imaginary, but it's there. That is my A. My eight is my B. And my C is my seven. Now this is going to be the setup for all of these. Um, A, B, and C. So B squared, if I'm looking at factoring B squared, B squared is just B times B, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to put my B's in my parentheses down here. Next, I'm going to look at my C term, my term that's the last one. And I'm going to look at factors of 7 that when I add them together, I get whatever my B term is. So factors of this number of, of C that when I add them together gives me my B term. So my factors of 7 are just 1 and 7. That's a super easy one, right? And when I add 7 plus 1, I get 8. That makes this easy. These are both positives. I don't have to worry about that. So whenever I factor this, it's gonna look like that. Now this right here is my factored form, okay? Um, let me show you why this factored form works though. Now we had a lesson on like day 12, I think, which was double distribution, right? So I take this B and I multiply it through my second set of parentheses. B times B gives me B squared. B times seven gives me plus seven B. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna multiply it by each thing. So one times B gives me plus one B. One times seven gives me plus seven. If I combine my like terms in the middle, I get B squared plus eight B, um, plus seven, and that checks out with what my original trinomial was. All right, here's another problem. This one isn't a plus plus like we had before. This is a plus minus. So we're gonna look at what happens whenever we have that going on. Um, I still have a one as my A, my B is a four, and my C is a negative 12. So I'm gonna set up my parentheses. Um, n squared, that's going to factor to n times n. But now I need to look at c. And what are the factors of c that when I add them together give me a positive 4? And it might be helpful if you want to come down here and do negative 12. And I know that um, it has several, you know, 1 times negative 12, 2 times negative 6, three times a negative four. Um, those are some factors of negative 12. But I need to look at the factors that when I add them together give me a positive four. Now, if I were to add these two, two times negative six, if I were to add those, two plus a negative six, I get negative four. I need to get the positive of that. So instead of two times negative six, what if it were negative two times six? That would give me a negative 12, right? So I'm gonna come over here. If I add negative two plus six, 
That's what gives me a positive 4. So if I'm looking at the factors of negative 12 that when I add them together give me a positive 4, I would be doing positive 6 and a negative 2. Okay, so that's how we factor that one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, here's my last example. <clears throat> I know I'm starting off with my two sets of parentheses. My A is 1, my B is negative 13, and my C is 40. So I know K squared gives me a K in both of my parentheses. Then I need to look at C. And what are the factors of C that when I add them together give me a negative 13? So I'm going to come down here and list some factors of 40. I have 1 times 40, 2 times 20, yeah, <laughs> 4 times 10. Um, what about um, 5 times 8? Yeah. And then we're good. So I'm going to look at those and are there any of those that whenever I add them together give me a negative 13? Well, if I look through here, 5 times 8, if I were to add 5 plus 8, I do get 13. But I need a negative 13, right? So I know that 40 is positive, so I need to look at this 5 and this 8. Um, positive 5 times a positive 8 gives me 40, but what if I have a negative 5 and a negative 8? Multiplying a negative 5 times a negative 8 still gives me a positive 40, but it allows me to come over here, and whenever I add those together, negative 5 plus a negative 8, I get that negative 13. So I'm going to use negative 5 and negative 8. And that's factored form. We're going to look again at making sure that this works, just showing you that this works. I'm going to take k and I'm going to double distribute this. So k distributed through my second set of parentheses. k times k gives me k squared. k times a negative 8 gives me negative 8k. And I'm going to take this negative 5 and do the same thing. Negative 5 times k gives me negative 5k. And negative 5 times negative 8, negative times a negative, gives me plus 40. And if I combine my like terms in the middle, then it ends up checking out.